Welcome to Crocker News. I'm Miria. And I'm Isaiah. Topping the headlines at this hour, the Crocker Art Museum's Mobile Art Center, the Art Arc, has just arrived at Didion Elementary School in Sacramento. We have live team coverage with Maya, Joaquin, and Bella at the scene. Maya, let's start with you. Could you tell us what this Art Arc is all about? Thanks, Isaiah. I'm here in front of the Art Arc. This is the Crocker 625 square foot museum on wheels. I spoke to the museum's director of education a bit ago, and she let me know all about the Arc. Only 38% of students have access to the arts in schools, so the Art Arc is a key way to bring the visual arts to students in the region. In fact, low income students who are engaged in the arts are more than twice as likely to graduate from college compared to their peers with no art education. So it's really important. Now, the Crocker Art Museum is a great place to see art and learn how to create. But we've also learned that the Crocker has been bringing art to schools with this massive art art for almost 40 years. Schools within 60 miles of the Crocker can have the art art come and visit. The museum works to make the visits affordable and it gives scholarships to Title I schools. That could be great for a lot of kids. I can see that this class is antsy to go inside, so I'll send it back to you. That's really cool. Thanks, Maya. This is a live view of kids making their way up the stairs and into the art. We have a reporter, Joaquin, on the inside. Joaquin, what are you seeing? This is by a local artist named Sonia White. If it looks familiar, it was inspired by an awesome artist and storyteller named Jacob Lawrence. You can look at it and you get to use these puppets and make your own story. Whoa, there they go. Brian, are you getting this? We'll go back to the Ark in a moment. We have some breaking news coming in. This just day, we received startling news about a cut in arts funding. It seems that schools don't have enough money in their piggy banks to fund art education. We spoke with the Crocker's directors and CEO Lyle Jones about this problem. More than 70% of schools have cut arts education, but because of generous donors to the Crocker Art Museum, we're able to provide the art arc to a lot of those schools. That's awesome! And it looks like we have our live signal, Isaiah. So let's go back out to the art arc and see the community support in action. Bella, can you hear me? I hear you, Miria. As you can see, it's an art extravaganza out here. The activities are self-directed. That means that kids can explore whatever inspires them. Over here, they even get to be art exhibit curators. As you can see, they're spinning the wheel. Then they're choosing some pictures of art for their exhibits based on what the wheel says. Art has so many benefits, but this is still a developing story for thousands of kids yet to visit the ARC. How it plays out will depend on how much support the Glocker gets to keep this and other programs in our community going. Miria, back to you. Thank you, Bella. You know, the art auction forecast may give us an idea of where this is headed, Isaiah. That's right. It looks like a storm of donations is moving in. There's a lot of electricity floating in the air, and bids from silent auctions are imminent. According to the Duffer, the wind is about to kick up, bringing a torrent of donations. If we're lucky, we may even get a deluge. So grab those paddles and hold on tight. This could be the storm of the year. And with that, we return to you, Art Auction 2019. On behalf of all of us at Crocker News, have an action-packed evening.